Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we're so pleased to introduce an all-new group here in town, Naper Bridge. So welcome to you. Jeff Hockey is founder and board president, so good to have you. And then we have two students here. We always love to have students on set. This is a great night for having students. Austin Hansen is on the student advisory board. And you are with Naperville North, yes. senior at Naperville North. You better believe it. And Elena, <laughs> just a little bit proud, right? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> and Elena Delgado is on the student advisory board, and you are a student, a senior at Naperville Central. Yep. Right? Good. So you got it covered here, right? <laughs> Great. Well, Jeff, let's start by talking about the mission of Naper Bridge. Well, thank you for having us, Nancy. It's uh, nice to see uh, taking a risk on a new organization. Uh, we just opened our doors, of course, three weeks ago uh, in downtown Naperville as a teen center. Um, the mission of Naper Bridge is really pretty simple. Uh, we see ourselves as, as an organization that creates a welcoming, safe place for Naperville teens to gather and have fun, and, and it's a values-based environment. Uh, our students can talk more about our, our uh, planks or our, our uh, touch points uh, with uh, the youth, but uh, we want to create a place for the teens to feel like they belong in downtown Naperville. Well, that is fantastic. So let me ask you then, Austin, how did you happen to get involved? It's actually pretty funny. I was talking to Jeff before we got here about, um, you know, just kind of recapping the whole year because it's only been a year and we're already opening doors and, you know, it's all exciting and stuff. Um, I actually met Jeff and Andy. Andy's our executive director in Neighborbridge. Um, I'm a youth commissioner for the city of Naperville's Downtown Advisory Commission. And at one of my meetings, they came up to me, because I speak on behalf of the youth, and we were talking, I don't know what we were talking about, but um, they came up to me after the meeting, and they said, hey, what do you think about this idea? You know, do you think you can get some people together and maybe start a couple focus groups or something? And uh, so that's kind of how we got involved, is just, you know, out of the blue. Can't, can't, I mean, we started talking about this, this dream, so to speak, and. Uh, um, now it's a reality, so it's been pretty cool. Oh, that's fantastic. And I have to ask you too, Elena. Um, I had uh, become involved with Naper Bridge by one day Austin just invited me to a focus group to talk about what Naper Bridge was and what it could be and to just like dream of what it um, could become. And so when we had gone to this pizza place with our executive director, Andy Jack, um, he kind of just talked to us about what we think that this place would be good for and what we should provide here and if um, teens would actually come. And it was a really great time to just uh, talk about something that, you know, we've never had in Naperville before. That is so true. So I heard it's beautiful. I have not been up there. I understand it's, it's just a us. beautiful, <laughs> I will, a beautiful, beautiful facility. So tell us about um, some of the things that the teens can find there. Well, first of all, it's important to understand that the board, the board of directors feels that it's our role to create the space, to create the, the foundation for possibilities to happen. We literally are, are enabling our teen board with the opportunity to create whatever they feel is necessary for programming for, for our youth, um, whether that's uh, you know, some of the things that have been thrown out are like yoga classes or photography. Tonight, uh, we're actually going to have a, uh, uh, art, an class. art class yeah. going on there. Um, we've had improv comedy classes. We're talking about maybe photography uh, uh, contests or something like that. Uh, obviously, music is a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Teen bands always are looking for a venue to perform, and, and from what I'm learning, uh, they have their followings, so each band can have a place to perform and bring their friends to. And do you have favorites already? Teen bands? Oh, and, and activities Oh, there. activities? Oh, we had this really cool improv comedy night where um, a, actually this guy learned from Second City performers how to do improv, and he came in, Elena, um, there's was a couple really other fun. kids there, um, and basically we we just learned about improv and actually how easy it is. Because you think of improv and you know the first thing I think of is sweat. I, I you get all freaked out about it. But actually, um, um, it's not as bad as it sounds. You know, and it, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, 
that's just one of the many things that we're planning on doing. I and mean, that draws Jeff people together too, right. I would think. Yes. Right. And you know, I give you a lot of credit for involving the teenagers because if you want it to be for the teenagers, they know what they like. What are some of the things you're excited about, Elena? Um, I'm excited about, well, uh, F, as um, he had just said, we have had so many ideas thrown out and everything, and not all of them have become a reality. So I'm really excited to move on with this year and to um, put more ideas out there. And we're trying to create more ideas on how to get the word out and how to have other people have a say in what's going on, too, not only the board. But we want to hear from what teens um, are thinking about, too, because maybe some ideas we've never even thought of. Right. So well, that's good I'm to really be very open-minded. Yeah. And you have drop-in hours. Let's talk about that. How does that work? We do, and we're still trying to figure that out. Um, as any new uh, institution, uh, sometimes you learn as you go. Uh, you know, the bottom line is, is we recognize that Naperville has never had a place downtown where teens have felt they could belong. I mean, in the, in the 60s, it was on the bridge, the bridge mm -hmm. sitters. Um, the kids hang around some of the parks on the river walk. Uh, but there's no place for them to really go and feel like they belong. So our drop-in hours are designated as a time where there's no intentional programming. It's just a place to come and bring in your Starbucks or, or your uh, what AAA, AAA yeah. or whatever. I, I hope I get credit for these plugs from these organizations. But, <laughs> um, just a place where they can feel like they can come in and belong. And you know, we've got gaming and television, and you know you can watch sports or movies. And really, really something for everyone. And exactly, we're it's whatever out of they time. But I will tell you, I remember when kids would hang out at bookstores between the stacks. Mm -hmm. So this is great that you have a place to go. And thank you so much for stepping up and being leaders for the rest of your peers for, for Naper Bridge. So good luck to you. Thank you. It's thank a joy to work with We're delighted to have them. you on. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a very short break. When we come back, we'll visit with 360 Youth Services. So don't go away. <laughs>